What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally, and I mean literally, does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. We got a short week coming here, guys. You know, holiday weekend. I know Brother Roz is already on the road and stuff like that. If you're traveling for the holiday, please take your time around alive alive and be careful out there because we need you here at the joe boo sports report now something i take pride in i take pride in here at the joe boo sports report is giving you guys something different than what you guys have had um i've had discussions with my buddy brother Roz and stuff because i was talking earlier in the season about this team being the reincarnation of the doomsday defense although we seem to have lost that a little bit because of uh last week's game you know against aaron Rodgers. um we ended up kind of laying an egg and giving up a lot more points and, you know, kind of fell back to earth a little bit. And you started thinking about um, my man, Micah Parsons, hadn't had a sack for like the last two games and figuring he's a little bit injured. Maybe teams had figured us out because we had seen how many yards we had given up on the ground. And um, we basically came back down to earth. And so, you know, one thing Brother Roz always says to me is you can't extrapolate for a whole season about what happens. You can't take a few games early on and say that's what it's going to be. Okay, you're, you're right. You're right. You're right. Although sometimes you can. Because believe it or not, right now, the Dallas Cowboys have the numero uno scoring defense in the NFL. Let me say that again for you, brothers and sisters. The Dallas Cowboys have the numero uno scoring defense, excuse me, defense in the NFL. I choked on it. I couldn't believe it. 16.7 points a game. Now, I pointed out before in other videos about where we were with other teams and things. But I got to point out something else that I was talking about. I was talking about before earlier in the season because it seemed like the Dallas Cowboys were doing some stuff that was rare air. The NFL record, in case you've been, in case my shirt caught your eye, shout out to Tracy Holmes. Tracy Holmes, where, you know, right here, this one's going out. This one's going out right here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That one's going out. We love them boys and stuff. And I said to her, I said, honey, I need me another shirt today. I need me another shirt because the NFL records of sacks in a season is 72 sacks by the 85 Bears. 85 Bears had 72 sacks. Now, granted, it was in 16 games. Cowboys get one extra game. But right now, the Dallas Cowboys, who have the number one scoring defense in the NFL right now at 16.7 points a game, they are averaging 4.2 sacks a game. Now, see, last week, I didn't, I didn't I stopped talking about it because last week uh, we've had two games where we didn't do real good. One was against the New York Giants, believe it or not, and Danny Dimes. We only had two, and we only had two last week against Aaron Rodgers. So I'm kind of like, okay, uh, we're kind of getting away from that uh, record here. So I guess maybe Brother Roz is right. But lo and behold, the Dallas Cowboys come back alive with seven sacks last week. Seven. So if you're keeping record, 4.2 sacks a game. Right now, that's on pace for 71.4 sacks a game. They are close. But even if they don't make it, even if they don't make it, I want to tell you how incredible, how incredible what they're doing right now is. This is this this will blow your mind. I want to tell you, okay, right now we got 42 sacks for the season. 42, okay? Right? Since 2010. Let, let me read to you how many sacks we've had since 2010 each year. 2010, 35. This is for the whole year. This isn't just the first 10 games. This is for the whole season. We had 35. 2011, we did really good. We had 42. We had 34 in 2012. We had 34 in 2013. We had 28. Only 28 in 2014. 28. We had 31 
in 2015. We had 36 in 2016. We had 38 in 2017. We had 35 in 2018. We had 39 in 2019, which we thought was a great year. We had 31 in 2020. We had 41 last year. And we have right now 42. We have more sacks today than we had all of last year, and that was Micah Parsons having 13. Did your mind just blow? Did I'm going to tell you how crazy this is because I actually worked on this this morning and I've been saving it, but we've had so much other news that's been going on. We had Stephen A. Smith, of course, you know, crying and not talking for the first 10 minutes of a show. We've had the, the Giants losing players left and right and so on. And I've been busy, too, because I've had to help Mama, you know, with the, 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 the T-shirt shop, you know, had to go out and buy some more T-shirts and things and get her to plan this and had prints I got to do out there. Where I, I, we, we busy. I'm like Santa Claus in his damn workshop right now. But check this out. Let's go back a little bit further. In this century, in this century alone, there's only been one season that they've had more than the 42 sacks that they have right now. And that was 2008. I'm sorry, two, two. Sorry, two. 2007, which was an, that was an incredible team. That 2017, I believe we had 13 Pro Bowlers. You know, people talk about, well, Tony Romo never had a team around him or anything. That year, we had 13 Pro Bowlers, and we had 46 sacks that season. But that was the whole season, the 16 games. Six more games. We did have 59 in 2008. Now, that was a great year. That was a great year. That was close, but not the best that the Cowboys have ever had. Because, see, here at the Joe Blue Sports Report, it's crazy. I went all the way back because, check this out. Would you believe in 1994, 94, we had 47. 95, we only had 36. In 93, we had 34. In 92, we had 44. 91 million 23 this defense will have more sacks than the 90s defense to put this into a bigger perspective the best year of sacks for the dallas cowboys was the 1985 dallas cowboys that had 62 and fellas i gotta tell you the cowboys or on pace to do more than that. Now, for those of you who are young, uh, you, you, these names won't mean anything to you. But I'm going to read the list of the names of the players on this defense. Okay? This defense in 85. Emerson Walls. Eugene Lockhart. He had three and a half sacks. Mike Hegman. Five and a half sacks. Dexter Klinkscale had two sacks. Michael Downs even had a half sack. Victor Scott, three sacks. Dennis Thurman had one sack. John Dutton, not from Yellowstone, um, had four sacks. You had Kevin Brooks had two sacks. And wait, wait, hold on. Actually, I, I, I went, let's see. Jim Jeffcoat had 12 sacks. Bill Bates had a sack. Ed, who was definitely not too tall, Two Tall Jones had 13 sacks. Randy White had 10 and a half sacks. Do any of those names ring a bell with any of y'all? Do, do any of those names? Because that's where this defense is playing right now. That defense is going to have more sacks conceivably uh, again, we got 42. We got to get 20 more. Conceivably could have more sacks and have the Dallas Cowboys record. At the current pace, they'll only be one off of the NFL record. So, get used to seeing this shirt. What I need to do is do a countdown. I need to go ahead and do like, you know, Major League. 
Remember in Major League, they had the first one, you know, give them the heater, give them the heater. They had the, the picture of the owner, you know, and she was scantily clad. And every time they got a win, they pulled another one off. I need to do something like that, like over here on the pole and just pull off another sack, pull off another sack. Maybe we'll make a sack tree or something like that, you know, full of bags. I don't know, but we need to do something because this is phenomenal what the Dallas Cowboys are doing. It is literally mind-blowing to think that right now, the Dallas Cowboys in this century, with the sacks that they've had in 10 games, that only two teams have ever had more in a whole season. All right, I'm going to tune in to my boys, prime time and game time, and then we, of course, will have our live stream. Um, I will see you guys soon. Peace.